Guys, guys, I was just, I was just setting up the video. We found him. We finally found him. I thought he had left me forever. Come, come here. You're going back home. Look, you are now, you are now back home. I, I think he can fit through here. Yeah, we did it. Ella, Ella, look. Look, it's, it's, it's your brother. He's back, finally. Look, you, you two go to sleep. There you go. You are now safe. You go to sleep. I'll just uh, store away some undead horses. Don't ask questions, please. So what up YouTube, it's Luca, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Series. Uh, we got Prince back, that is a victory in and of itself for this video. But anyway, on to the real uh, objective of this video. I said in the last episode how I would spend this episode building some sort of stable for our... Uh, our skeleton horses that we got in the last episode. I'm still really happy with that. And uh, you know, this this might have turned out a little bigger than I expected. But this is going to be their stable. So this is the groundwork for it. This is how big it is roughly going to be. So I kind of struggled with what I should build as a stable for them. I originally thought like some kind of skeleton something, but that just seemed unoriginal. Then I maybe thought like some kind of hellish palace, but I couldn't quite figure out how that would look. Like I couldn't come up with a great design. But then I finally hit, uh, hit my stride and I realized that uh, it would be pretty cool since the uh, skeleton horses are supposed to be undead horses. A very cool stable for them would be the uh, the coffin that they were once buried in. So that's pretty much what this is going to be. As you can see, it's got that kind of uh, coffin look. I mean, it's a bit more oval than uh, most coffins, but it's still got the general shape. So that's what I'm going to be building up for today. As I said, this is the groundwork, so next step is to uh, set up the walls so i guess i'll do that and then bring you guys back just so i can show you what kind of style this build is going to have so the entire outer wall is now done i'm currently standing in the in the inner of the soon to be coffin but as you can see this is the pattern uh it's made up of a layer of raw, just raw basalt, and then uh, uh, some spruce, spruce logs, and dark oak wood, and then on top another layer of uh, just raw basalt. I thought since it is a coffin, it might as well be better off with a darker theme, you know, because coffins aren't really that fun. Anyway. So now that all there is to do is to just put the roof on and then we can put and then we can pretty much start designing the interior which fun fact I haven't designed the interior yet I have no idea what I'm actually going to fill this gigantic place up with apart from you know the three skeleton horses so the uh the the roof is going to be, uh, yeah, kind of special, I guess. Well, not initially. The first stages of the roof are just going to be, you know, a ring of uh, spruce and a ring of something else. I can't remember. I'm going to have to look that back up. But anyway, the most of the innard of the roof is going to be filled with uh, stone bricks. And on top of that, I plan to put the image of a horse's head you know just to show that a horse or maybe several of them were buried in this coffin so uh, yeah i'm going to have to break out my best pixel art skills for that one 
So that's basically how the roof is going to look. And yeah, maybe I'll even bring you guys here for actually building the horse head. Anyway, whatever whatever way I choose to do it. Uh, first, I need to, you know, build the large the largest part of the roof itself, which I'm going to do now. So the roof of the coffin is now done. This is what it looks like. As I said before, we have one wing, a one block wide wing of uh, spruce logs going round, then a two block wide wing of dark oak wood, and then the rest is just filled in with stone bricks. Uh, so now what I'm going to do uh, is what I said before, I'm going to add a horse image on, uh, on this, roughly on the center. I guess I can keep you guys around for that, since it shouldn't take long. So yeah, first, first I gotta lay down like the general image of a head, so that I can add the uh, the finer details later. So I thought first just do that, first just go ham with the dark oak and lay down a general structure of the face. And then I'll bring you guys back to add some of the details. So I guess this looks roughly like a horse head. So now it comes, just comes to filling the details. So first the ears, it's easily done. And the eyes, or just the eye in this case, since it's only one. And then lastly, I have some sandstone slabs for the the uh, the mains. So if we just add these and go uh, a little bit like this around it, up to about here probably fine and now I think if we tower up once again I didn't destroy the last one but if we tower up once again we'll see that this looks pretty much like a horse in Minecraft so lastly lastly I wanted to add these quartz slabs around it to you know make it seem a bit more morbid you'll see what I mean once I'm done with it so as you can see now you can see it in a bit more sunlight. I used quartz slabs to kind of create like a cross image. I debated like putting just like a normal cross or a Christian, some sort of Christian cross. But I thought the normal one was better. Uh, so now I think everything on the exterior is done. Maybe I need to do a little bit of terraforming to make sure it actually fits into the landscape. But now the time has finally come to start the interior, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, because, well, I haven't I haven't thought about it yet. And also it's, it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> so yeah, give me a little bit and I'll come up with a good idea for that. One hour later. Oh boy, it's finally time. Listen up you three, now you can finally go to your new home. Let me just unleash you all real quick. Here we go, uh, now let's make sure they don't run off. Look at them, they're already spreading. Okay, you come here, you two, and you two. Okay guys, let's go to your New home, trust me, it's very big. You will have a lot of space to uh, to do, well, wh whatever it is that you guys tend to do in your free time. So I finished the, so anyway, I finished the interior. Uh, I didn't think it was worth showing off on camera as it's kind of simplistic. Basically, I went to the nether and incorporated some of the uh, crimson and warped 
uh, vegetation and it's basically all the interior is you'll see you'll see it when you uh, when you get here so guys this is what the interior looks like as i said it's pretty much just a warped and crimson vegetation uh oh now they're unleashed guys knock it off just be vigilant let one let one uh Okay, you two come in and now you don't don't run off. No. Okay, yeah, look, look, you can come in here too. So yeah, uh, as you can see, it's not really that special, but it looks it looks pretty atmospheric. And guys, you now you now get to, uh, well, you now get to roam this uh, enclosure. Let me just let me just close the door real quick so they don't get to escape on me while I'm checking the place out you know like a certain fox did uh, anyway I did I do realize that I forgot one thing I need to replace these two blocks with the trap doors so that I can safely you know sail them up and ride out on them but anyway I'll, I'll do that after uh, so lastly I've got one saddle <laughs> which uh, I don't know Guys, who wants it? First, first to touch me uh, becomes the one with the saddle. Th okay, now they're actually walking away from me. Okay, all right. You know what? You you didn't walk away from me. You get to have the saddle. Oh wait, do they not? Oh, they don't require a saddle. I thought that they did. Anyway, that's helpful, because since I've only got one. Anyway, you, you now get to have a name. Your name is now War. So basically, I have i couldn't quite come up with a good name for these three. So, I decided to go do some research. And I'm basing their, their names off of the four horses of the apocalypse. I'm pretty sure that's what... That's what the skeleton riders are based on in the first place. Uh, but anyway, of course the fourth one died, so that's going to be a little issue. So that one over here is called uh, is called War. I believe the other ones are called... Actually, I have the Wikipedia page right open in front of me. So this one's called War. I believe the other one are called... Other ones are called Conquest, Famine and Death. Or at least that's what the riders are called. The horses don't really have names. But the riders are dead. So now the horses get the names. Anyway that's four horses. But we only have three. Because as I said we killed the fourth one accidentally. So I guess. I guess uh, war and conquest are kind of intertwined. So I guess we can ditch conquest. And these two are just famine and death. Unfortunately I had less. I have uh, run out of. Uh, name tags i didn't think i would already but yeah i ran out it should be relatively easy to get them back though i think you can get them relatively cheap from a max level librarian so we just need to do some more trading with the guys up in the tower rooms of the castle and then we'll probably be good uh, so anyway these guys uh, now get to reside here i'm pretty sure I'm not sure if this is big enough that they will despawn. I don't even know if skeleton horses despawn in general. I mean, I've now, I've now pretty much claimed them. So, I guess they're now mine. So, yeah, you guys uh, have fun in here. And I'll just get out of here. Have fun. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it. For this episode of the Minecraft Pocket Edition playthrough, I uh, we we built something pretty uh, pretty huge. We built this coffin for the skeleton horses to now live in, and yeah, that's pretty much all we did. Anyway, uh, this actually took way less time than I had thought. I originally thought that this was going to be a massive project, but I was just able to get it done in two sittings of like. What is it two hours or something 
So yeah, four hours, which is way less than I thought I was going to be spending. So anyway, as I said many times before, the horses are now going to live in here. I'll work on getting some names for, for the librarian, so I can probably name uh, the other two at the beginning of the next episode. So yeah, watch out for that. Subscribe if you want to be notified of that, by the way. And yeah, that's where I'm going to call it a day for this episode. If you, uh, if you liked this episode, then make sure to like and subscribe. Check out some of my older series as well as more of this one. And I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching and good bye everyone.